Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics with me, Get Daved. This is the War of the Lions port. We're emulating it. Oh good. I believe this is where Ovelia is being held. Your prayer will be answered? Not to say that that would be great news. Yeah, always drawn to the monasteries. You're too pious for this world, Ovelia. Does not deserve you. So there is some some nobility in Delita's character. He's helping himself as much as her, but you know what? It's a start. Oh no. Okay, they've positioned themselves in an awkward uh, configuration for them. Yeah, we'll dispatch that one first. And here's the game plan. Him. Okay, she's got life font. Oh, and item. Okay, I hope his CT gauge went first, though. It should have. Yeah, perfect. We'll have to take her out first, then, because she's got item, which is information I totally could have had. Oh my goodness. Delete is also using a Knight Sword, and they're awesome. Let's just take a look. Yeah, save the Queen. So that gives him an innate uh, protect ability. He's got some good gear. I would love to uh, have it. This should be it. So, where do you think the ninjas came from? Be honest with me. Because uh, Delita has dispatched some people very convenient times. Even remember how he ingratiated himself with uh, Gultana and there just happened to be a traitor right there and... It just makes you wonder. And I have to know. This battle normally features some spirits of the dead. We're kind of near a certain place. Okay, no. 
Well, that's a little disappointing then. I'm not going to say a single word of what I thought might happen because there's another battle later on. Yeah. Whatever, we got a cool scene with uh, Delgado and Ovelia. So, you can steal equipment from the people ghosts, because they do use equipment. Wow, Raph is quick. And my characters are not. Sometimes these guys will look like they're teleporting onto the square they just left. And it means their teleportation failed, basically. Yeah, let's check out the unit list first, which is a formality I should do more often, but won't begin doing. Chakamala, always nice. Probably more, like, it's probably said, like, Hopamala or something. I don't know. Has dark damage. And immune to confuse. Most tempting. Okay. We also have to be careful. Dead enemies will reanimate if you're not careful. Or if you take too long would be a better way of putting it. 490, baby. Which one of you has the good stuff? Her. She's basically dealt with now. Um, they're floating, so that actually adds one height unit to their height value for some calculations purposes. Nice. It's worth having a couple of those. We won't go into why. I would hate to ruin the surprise. See his punch animation was angled up because of the one height thing. Only for some calculations is their height considered different though, so you do have to be careful. probably swap auto potion back, especially before uh, we go too far into the game. There may be some things I'm dreading coming up in the very near future. By which I mean like two videos from now. Um, I'm okay if she gets her spell off, I think. This guy's got some gear I'm a little envious of, so we might try cleaning him out. This other mage, though, we can torch him. Didn't get silence, that's unfortunate. If I had to pick someone to get immobilized, it would have been the archer. So gravity does a quarter of your HP in damage, and the faith and all that comes in as part of the accuracy probability. So now you know about gravity. And these enemies may crystallize, but they may, re may reanimate, so we will probably just be making short work of them. Don't worry if this video is a little uh, shorter because of it. There will be some longer ones. Uh, I'm not kidding. Riovani's castle is a big deal. A lot of people actually get stuck, like perma stuck there in this game. It is full of absolutely horrible things. Alright, 
Uh, decision making time. We have a couple people we should heal. I'll worry just about Ramses for now, and maybe we can get into position to help White Caliber. Also, does Rafa have good stuff? I didn't even look into that in the last video. Um, she's just a guest, so don't worry too much about her stats and all that quite yet. But, uh, no, we can buy all of that, so... Okay, he will die. If we're not careful. Many of these enemies are vulnerable to uh, fire, more so than the other elements, because they are undead, and that's how that works. And we'll press the offense with Get Daved. Hopefully that sort of makes uh, the enemy's attacks focus more on Agrius and Get Daved, and then you can keep everyone else safe for a little bit. Nice. Unexpected dodge. We can learn teleport, by the way. Wow. Seven. Eight. That's ridiculous. Also, it missed an awful lot. There we go. Francis the Mage, you don't want to mess with him. Actually, he's got 137 damage coming our way, so... Dread what attack that is. Okay, time to scatter everybody because a terrible nuke is on its way. And I have to know. Thundaga and Fyra. Yep, good stuff. I kind of want to take this guy's property, but uh, he might be a bit too dangerous to leave alive, so we'll see. Well, alright. That terrible thing happened. Could have been a lot worse. Maybe we'll take a couple stabs at it, but again, we don't want any of these enemies to get to zero on their... Uh... Okay, fine. That's fine. Didn't want them to get to zero on their, uh, death counter. Doesn't seem like it's going to be an issue anymore. Because she's floating, this should be in range. No. Still too far. That's okay. That attack should do it. Just pick on Get Daved here. A literal backstab. Because this is all but uh, completely secured. We'll go about it this way so Agrius can get the last blow in. It's just a JP efficiency movement. This has nothing to do with enemy crystallization. I'm not too worried about the danger this one ghoul possesses. Or poses, pardon me. Not far enough. Also, it comes to my attention... We never actually did hit Agrius with that, uh... Brave buff. One, two, three, four. And we won't. Hmm. 
Maybe we can hit Get Dave with a much less likely attack, though. No. Her words are falling flat. I would also like to see the praise that doesn't hit, if it's like, You can do it! Probably! In the comment section, put your praise as that is not likely to work. Alright. Yeah, good call. I assume that there's, like, more civilized roads that don't lead through Hollanted Roads, but because Rams is being chased, he has to take these less secure ones. Let's get away from these hovering corpses. Alright, we'll do a little bit of party management real quick. We basically just blitzed through a bunch of these, so we did not get a ton of re-rays. It's tempting to save up for that. I uh, did not get a ton of JP in any of these matches, but that's okay. Uh, I'm gonna save up on that. Got another chocobo egg on its way, that's delightful. Oh, I guess it's fine. Kinda wanna take all of her stuff, but... Okay. <laughs> if Wycalibur had acted one more time, she would hit level 4 Thief. And then all of my problems would be gone forever. I usually just try cleaning up all of the Geomancy abilities right away. Um, Geomancer is a very... Like, there's no expensive abilities. This is the most expensive one. It's a pretty quick class to master, and there's no problem spending a lot of time here because its growth stats are quite good. Um... And Archer, still a ways to go because Eurydice's not been acting a ton and missing when she's been getting the chance. That's fine. I think... I think we can probably do okay with what we've got. Um, yeah, and like, Wycalibur is already Master Thief, so... Master Thief! It's from the game Thalo. And she's a level 5 monk, which is great. That's all she needs to get in that class. So we can change Get Dave to something a bit more helpful. I mean, he's actually a really good monk, but uh, I think we'll go for a bit of that firepower. We don't have as good of a sword. Huh. 81 damage per attack, hey. What other jobs can we go? Oh, you know what? Male Samurais kind of look like dorks, though. The level Archer is Eurydice. Eight. Okay, not close. She's been getting pretty good at this archery stuff. Uh, I would not recommend learning aim plus 20. It's kind of strong. There's lots of stronger attacks, but it takes forever to charge. Or maybe they changed how it worked, but in the original, boy, it took a long time. Um, okay, well, we'll just keep leveling with Eurydice then. Knight is fine. Everyone enjoys a good knight. If we get him to level 6 as a chemist, we could make him an Onion Knight, which is kind of tempting. Mm. Yeah, no, we'll go with Knight for now, and we'll just set the secondary ability to Martial Arts. So it's basically just an inversion of his previous skill set. And not quite enough Thief skills to get move plus 2. That's unfortunate. Rams already has it. Yeah, most of my other characters already have it. Okay. I guess we're ready for Riovanni's castle. Just kidding, full back. 
What is your best sword? They do not sell them. Okay, great. A gold hairpin is a pretty good uh, piece of equipment. MP plus 50. And looks like that's pretty much all they're going to bring to the table. Oh, the black robe is... So it strengths your elemental magic, which can be nice. Um, Rams would be an absolute killing machine if we put that on him. We'll worry about it later, though. Oh, and speed plus one is always cool. Hermes shoes are nice. Nice piece of equipment. Wow, they're even more valuable than I thought. I'll buy one of those. And one of those. And not get the piece of equipment I came for. I'll see you all in the next episode.